on good evening okay we are going to discuss another interview question so as part of interview question series sql part so today i'm going to explain another question so today so the question is simple very simple question but it's a bit tricky one so write down the sql query for fetching the manager details who is having more than 10 subordinates which means let's understand the employee table before going to find the solution see if you see this table right i have done let's do the select star from employees so once you have done select star from employees so this is the hierarchical data which is present in the employee table for example steven is steven is steven king okay when it comes to steven king he is having lot of subordinates okay can you see here employee id column as well as manager id column so when you say okay 100 100 is the employee see in general if you think in a logical way okay every employee every manager should be an employee then only he is going to become as a manager so considering that rule first you see right here first employee 10 100 he is the what is his designation additional president okay he is not having any manager id he is a supreme boss in that particular company after that if you take this nina nina and lex 101 and 102 if you see this nina and lex okay for them who is the boss steven is the boss you can see here 100 100 like this okay like this what exactly we wanted we want a manager who is having more than 10 subordinates okay who is having more than 10 subordinates first of all how can we identify who is having who is having 10 subordinates or less than that okay first try to identify this way try to write this way select manager id okay because he is the one right manager id and manager id is the one who is the manager okay for that particular and i'm counting it out i'm i'm just counting off that particular how many how many how many the manager how many times it is repeated in the manager id column so group by group by manager id manager id and then if you do if i do this okay so i can get the counts okay each member how many times it is replaced sorry if each member each manager id how many times it is placed in the how many times it is placed in the manager id column see 100 if you take 100 100 is the supreme boss and he is having 14 subordinates okay now what is the thing which we need it more than 10 more than 10 if you see here if you see here okay only 100 is the one who is having more than 10 subordinates how can i fetch it very simple guys very simple on top of it what we can write it up we can write the sub query sub query so to do that now what is the next thing which we have to do we have to filter down this data we have to filter down this data how we can do that more than more than 10 see after group by after group by if you wanted to filter the data if you wanted to filter the data just you can go ahead and you can use the having clause on top of group data you have to use the you have to use the group you have to use the having clause you should not use where clause on top of group data now what is the thing which you have to do having count of star greater than 10 greater than 10 let's do this let's do this okay now we are getting only 14 now what exactly these guys need it it's not only these details 100 details he we they want as per requirement they need complete details other than id they need complete details which means so directly you need you are unable to get it like this okay because you are using you are using aggregate function at the same time you are using the group by so what we have to do okay first we are going to write sub query sub query select star from employees okay where okay where employee 
ID equals to employee ID in okay employee ID in suppose in this case only one record is present suppose if I can keep here more than seven more than seven in this case try to understand if I can keep more than ten more than seven we are seeing more records more records now let's consider more than seven only in this case okay for time being we can consider it 10 okay and i'll even explain at the end even seven also now we are getting seven. now we are getting single record right just go ahead and get the single record now if you wanted to fetch this complete data sim simply you can map this with outer side query right this output we are going to write subquery okay very simple subquery in this case we are writing sim first we are getting the who's having who's having more than more than 10 subordinates simply i'm going to remove this remove this and on top of it only this manager id will come as a output will come as a output so what we can do simply we are writing first inside what we are doing we are filtering out, filtering out the data based on manager id first i'm going ahead and i'm fetching the manager id along with that i'm counting manager id how many times it is present each manager id once i once i have counted on top of it i'm using the having clause once i have used the having clause and then automatically i'm getting only single record because it is coming only 100 record now on top of it i wanted to fetch complete details which means this 100 complete details i need to fetch what is his employee ID, what is his first name what is his last name along with that what is his address what is his designation all those all those details i am fetching so simply i would say it is a simple sub query okay so in inside query what we are doing we are going ahead and we are writing the group by as well as having clause i am once inner query is, has been executed this inner query output will be the output will be the input for the outer query so we'll write it up like this if I do this automatically, I'm getting like this. Okay, sir, you can use directly equal to why are you using in operator? So in this case, even you use this case, it is going to work. If I use more than more than this way, this way, if I use here in this case, single record, that is the reason we are getting that way. equals to also works. But if I use this way, it is going to throw an error because it is returning multiple values. Make sure if whenever you are going to query like more than one, you have to use the in operator, in operator. Okay, now you can see it is getting more than seven. How many members are there? We are getting like this. This is the way you have to write the SQL query, SQL query. And moreover, moreover, if you have like this query right just simply you can write like this and even for this same example suppose same simple example you even you can do second max salary as well so second max of salary just if you wanted to comment out use the iphone iphone second, second max salary so simply select max of cell okay max of cell from employees okay where okay where salary not in select max of salary max of salary from employees employees okay employees this is nothing but a simple sub query simple sub query here here you can see this way okay here we are using the here we are using the simple subquery first it is going to execute inner query a subquery can contain inner query okay as well as outer query outer query outer query so first inner query means the brackets whatever it is within the brackets whatever it is there that is called inner query on top of that, outside after brackets right outside whatever the query is there that is called outer query so when i'm mentioning first inner query will execute that output will be the input for the outer query okay 
and this is the way you have to fetch the you have to fetch the you have to fetch the subordinates okay a manager a manager can con and manager who is having more than 10 subordinates so this is op number is just it's kind of you know even you can change 5 you can change 4 okay just if you change automatically the output will change okay this is the way you have to you have to write down the sql query for this okay and feel free to ask me any any doubts any questions on this and this is the source which i got it from lead code actually so just i'm explaining in detail about that particular thing thank you guys